Bitbar has been building in-house test labs of different types since 2010. In this four-episode video series, we are giving away some of the secrets of how to build large-scale device labs. And we mean hundreds of devices. Should you build the device lab by yourself? How to select the devices? What kind of infrastructure do you need? How to operate the lab day to day? We will answer all of that and more. So, stay tuned! Cloud-based test automation services like Bitbar with a device cloud offering thousands of combinations of real devices are great for most mobile developers because they can access a full width of both smartphones and tablets. However, some companies cannot use such services, and here are the main reasons why. Many top tier developers work with pre-marked devices. Developers working on a significant app that will ship with a device have to make sure that the app works when the actual device software changes from one release to another. Many companies have strict security policies regarding uploading development versions of their unreleased applications outside of the corporate firewall. If you are running a lot of tests, potentially from every code commit, your tests take a long time to execute or you are relying on having the test devices available when you need them. An in-house device lab is a way to go. Some companies require specific hardware or environment setup to be able to fully test their software. For instance, some special Bluetooth or Wi-Fi enabled accessory needs to be physically in the same location as the test devices. The reasons for setting up in-house device labs can be as varied as the companies that are setting them up. In the next videos, we will explain how to choose the devices and their amount, and what kind of infrastructure is needed. My name is Anastasia, and this was Bits and Bytes. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. We are here to help.